And now, Torchman. Oh, he has nice flame shoulder birds, I guess. Haha, <laughs> and we're actually probably animated. That would be really Oh, yeah, I see. I mean, they are still pretty big shoulder birds with flames coming out of him. Would be still kind of fun if they were just plastic or something. I'm not animated, I mean. Oh, wait, this is like those. Damn, I still don't remember those guys' names. Their camping site. Uh, that's so weird. I mean, I guess I understand, like. Torchman's gonna. Yeah, sure. Not the first thing I'd expect from a flame level, though. But hey, I guess it works. Oh. The whole addition of static enemies is weird in this game, though. Oh. What's that gonna do? Is it gonna fall down? No. It's just... Oh. I see. Huh. Not a fan of that. Weird design. How do you do that? You just go past it? I mean, I have any weapons to kill him with, but... I just wonder, like, how... Oh, it, I would... I, I almost dropped down there, and yikes. This is, uh... Duffy. Um... Okay... Having to wait for enemies like that here... Oof. Oh, I see, that's a nice design. Huh. They make the crown... Like... Yeah, make actually deal damage while they are around. Now, dark level, I see. So there's gonna be a Torchman enemy somewhere here. Oh, yes. That's all the pseudo actually... You don't kill them as you trade out the visibility, but these work as well, I see. Oh, right, those explode. Yikes. I probably don't... Oh, I actually need it. Yeah. Still not used to how the jumping heights feel here. It's harder to direct, actually, the tiles here. Oh, yikes. What's... What, what the... What's, what's this gonna be? Is it gonna just jump around? Oh, I see. There's gonna be a... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Now he's mad. Oh, I don't actually like the ability to move on normal speed during speed gear. It's gonna make dodging things really hard. I thought you were gonna be able to move on normal speed, but you still have the low gravity, but never mind. If you... If it basically doesn't affect you at all, it makes things harder. Like, that was the best part, you can make more accurate movement. Can it just... Yeah, you can just make him fall. Easy. city. And now we get this. Okay, that's a nice indicator. I am not gonna go for that one there. I see, with speed gear you uh Yikes, I see, you actually have to use speed gear there. But we, yeah, now the speed is actually useful. I can move a normal speed. It's almost cheating, honestly. That I can buy buy so much time by using the speed here. On by using it on right moments, like there. If if I make the enemy move slower, it doesn't actually do anything. I still need to wait. Oh, I still need to wait for it. Oh, what? Oh, they drop the smaller spiders there, huh? Yikes! Okay, I'm just gonna run across this screen. Screw that. Oh, n oh, I was. Oh, it's actually a factory. Never mind. How do you get down there? Like with rust jet? Mandatory rust jet sections? I'm not a fan of that. 
Also, yeah, now I made things slightly harder for me, but hey, I can see them by using the better buster. Uh, it's here. Never mind. Yeah, you, I need to not. Yeah, I start from here again. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't as bad as. Mm, yeah. Still just making that much progress and having to do this again is always like a... I mean, I don't want like a checkpoint in every other screen, that would be too much, but... And the game isn't hard, so that's also a bonus, but... Yeah... It's just frustrating when you have to redo so much stuff. I mean, I actually don't have to do it that much. It just felt like a lot. Mm, weird. Yeah, because I'm already here, so... Wonder how do you go through that? Oh, I see. If you hit them, they become passive. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that one. Oh, I see. I'm gonna use this. Oh, I didn't make it too bad. Oh, let's go through the floor. Interesting. The German mole, actually, they look like, uh, you know. I mean, probably you don't know what I'm even talking about. The German animation mole. Yeah, that's a really obscure thing to suddenly refer to. But they look like that, like they mole. That's a really weird thing to suddenly refer to, honestly. I see, I see, we're gonna have another time timed wall thing. In the next room. Yeah, oh, I see, I see. And we have a gear pickup, it's all fine. I'm gonna not gonna wait for that one and Oh! No oh, no, I'm gonna just gonna rush through. Oh, I see, I see, you have to cho choose the right one there. And why the door? Okay. Sure. Pretty good, pretty good. And now we can... Hmm, I mean, yeah, we'll see if I use E-Tank here. I could use it, but... And he doesn't like trees for some reason, I wonder why. Oh, he's gonna throw, use Hadouken. Oh, and the scorpions. Wait, does Scorpion do the flaming kick? On some Mortal Kombat? Oh, oh, what? Hi, hi, hi! What? What are you, weeb or something? I see, this is an interesting pattern, honestly. Oh, Yo, yeah, if he gets too close to you, he actually does that. I see, I'm just gonna restart it, just... I see, I see, I'm... Because, I mean, I could have just kept doing that, but... Yeah... I see. So you basically have to be close enough to him when he does that. That's the best time to do damage to him. Oh. When, <laughs> never mind, now I'm doing even worse. Now that I'm, uh, I've kind of analyzed his patterns. It's actually the best to be here in the middle. He always does low, high, low, yeah. I'm just gonna use this, screw it. Yeah, sure. Burn. 
Oh. Oh. That was so close. But sure, I have no idea what the boss was. Hmm. And that's the thing with using the weapons. Like, I have no idea what the second phase did. He became, like, full-on a Burninator, and uh, that's that. I guess. He jumped out of the screen and came down. Oh, yes, let's see. Oh, I see. Huh. Oh. That's a weird I weapon. That's a really weird one. Okay. But sure, I'm gonna now... So, yeah. I guess that was sad. My name is Being Frozen. I thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time with Plastman. And probably Wild One. So, yeah. Bye.